Okay guys, today we have this 2010 Honda Civic. This is like the 8th gen and we have a 1.8 liter engine and it's making some noise and I'm going to show you what it sounds like when I start the car. You hear that? If you can hear that, you might think it's the power steering pump. But when you turn it, the steering doesn't really make any changes. So I'm thinking that's uh, the belt or some of the um, some of the tension there. The belt tension there for that. So we're we gonna go ahead and remove that one and. Hopefully we can do something to replace it. All right. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and remove the battery. So I'm gonna have this removed, disconnect at least. And um, we do have a Let's see. We have to remove the the pulley for that water pump on that side. To remove that, there's a 10 millimeter three bolts around it, and um, we're gonna remove that. You can remove that with the belt on, so it's kind of like not spinning, and it will spin, but you could probably get away with that the next let's remove the alternator because that's going to be in our way to remove the tensioner okay so to remove that bolts for water pump pulley i'm going to use this 10 millimeter socket um this is a thin one so i'm gonna put it here i have that here right then I'm going to use a, a pry bar to kind of hold it the other side. Let's see if I can reach it right here. And I'm going to crack it loose. Let's see. Okay, let's see if we can get that side either there or this one I might need to do this one here let's see Okay, so to remove these bolts for this water pump pulley, I have this 10 millimeter socket. And then I'm gonna have my pry bar. I'm gonna pry it here so it won't spin. Then crack it loose. Let's see. 
there you go. See my light fell off. Do it again. This one is loose already. So once it's loose, I'm not gonna fully remove it. I just want it loose and then I'm gonna get to the next one until all of the three are removed. Then we can remove the uh, the the belt and we can remove the alternator. All right, next we're gonna remove the, the belt. I have it a 19 millimeter wrench here. I'm gonna pull this the tensioner. Then grab the belt out of the alternator. There you go. That is out. Then we're gonna go ahead and move on removing the alternator to make us room to remove the um, belt tensioner. It's, gonna, it's just gonna be easier access. So I have this removed already. You have this 10 millimeter nut here. Remove this connector here. You have to press the button on this side. And this is disconnect as well. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this whole two piece here. See, there you go. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove this part here. Okay, to remove the alternator, there's two 12 millimeter bolts. One of them. You can see my down there. So remove those two and this should slide out. All right, so once you remove the, this is the one from the bottom, down here, the shorter one, put it inside. The top one, this is a little bit longer. Then this should be able freely to move the alternator. So we can just pry it here from the top, slide out. That, you can grab it before fully drop. Let's go ahead and get that out. Make sure this is not connected there. And then that should come out pretty easy. Let's see. We'll drop. We'll drop. All right. There you go. Alternator is out. Let's put it inside. Then you have the, the pulley for the water pump. It's pretty f freely, as you can see. You can actually move these bolts more easier now. So okay. here's the bolts for the water, um, the water pump pulley. Um, I can remove it by my finger now. Let's remove this one and then continue. So I got the last one here. You can see, let's go ahead and put it in the side. And we can be able to remove the pulley from this water pump. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull it up. There you go, it's coming up. I'm just gonna wiggle it just slowly. Coming. All right, here you go. This is out. That's the pulley. Put it aside. Then you can go ahead and set that belt aside. Water pump. Let's check it. Not too bad. The belt. See, I want to see the belt. I mean, the tensioner. Look, what, is, what does it look like? Yeah, I can. I can feel the play here on the tensioner. There's a play that could possibly making that noise. Let's go. There you go. See that the pulley for the tensioner. You can hear that. So we're gonna remove that tensioner. And they have a couple bolts. Take one here. This one. Remove that. 
and the other one is down there. All right, to remove that belt tensioner, you're gonna need a, let's see if we get the flashlight real quick, a um, eight millimeter Allen, which is, you go underneath there. And that's gonna be really tight. Um, so what I did, you can go to the passenger side and then you can see it from here. This side, let me see. See it from there? Let's see if I can see it right there. And you can spray a WD-40 or penetrating oil and let it soak for like a couple minutes. And you'll be able to um, loosen it. Let's see. I think this one is pretty, I got a crack. Open just that bit. There you go. So it starts spinning now. Once it starts spinning, it should be it should be able to move it. So see that this one start moving pretty good. And I'm gonna get this out. I think that's um 12 millimeter. We'll see. 12 or 14, maybe 12. Yeah, this is 12, so let's go ahead and remove this too. And that's gonna be, then we'll be able to remove the whole thing. So I got the Allen, um, Allen bolt removed, and this one too, that was holding down here. Once that's out, can go ahead, slide it down just a little bit. Let's see, let's see how this is gonna come out. Might need to pull it from this side. There we go. And this is it. And let's see what it looks like. It's this one here. It's a big play here on the bearing. So, see that? I'll make a lot of noise there. This one here. There's a play here. We'll see if we can fix this. All right, guys. So I took this apart. This one. It goes here. And it has a bolt here, which is a use of T50 torque. So this one goes like this. And you just loosen them up. And I'm going to show you. Well, this sounds like right here. Let's see if I can put a mic on it. Hope you can hear that. That is not smooth. So we're gonna replace the bearing. I did have a bearing here. I think it fits perfectly. This is the 6203 bearing. Let's see. 6203 bearing. And I think it fits perfectly. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this first. Put a socket here and that should come out. So here you go, I have um, this is a small socket, it's about size 20. Put it down here underneath and have a couple little pieces here. Let's see if it'll come out. It moves a little bit. Just have to beat it just a bit more. coming out slowly there you go almost out there you go 
And this is out, fellas. See that? And then let's go ahead and get the um, the bearing that we have, and we'll see if that's about match. This is the bearing that we had, the new bearing. So I think it's pretty good. We'll see. This one is not smooth anymore. This is the smooth one we have. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and um, put a new one in. All right, so the new one is gonna go in straight up. And I have a size 28 socket to measure it. Make sure this is going perfectly in. The 20, no 28 millimeter socket, the 29 is, it won't fit in here. This is perfect and this one is still goes to the outer edge of this bearing and this one you can go either way make sure you just pretty straight when you go in when you have it like this I'm gonna go ahead and beat it all around flat This one, I can actually use it with my finger. All right, now we're gonna put the new one in. Um, we're gonna use a 28 millimeter socket for this because it fits perfectly here. But the 29 is a little bit bigger. So this one, you just put it here. You're just going to put it evenly, slowly. Make sure you're hitting the outside part. And this one's going to go in. So you're going to tap it evenly around it. If you don't have a press, you can do this, but you got to be gentle. Okay, once you have that, you probably use this one here. Make sure it's centered. For now, you can use a 29 if you like. Let's see, I'll just put it big, but it doesn't hit, hurt the outside part, the inside part. So, there you go. That's a little bit flat, it's not all the way in. And then use the 28, it has to go all the way in. So, let's do this. The best way to use it to do it is use another the, the older bearing so you know it's 100 perfect and you should be able to beat up like this it's going in and this should be able to come out too pretty easy you have that stuck. Make sure it's not gonna get stuck, of course. All right, we're getting close. So I'm just tapping it slowly, one corner at a time. Until they're fully seated. And this one is not quite, I think that's almost there. that's it just gonna check it if they're fully seated I think it is so so now it's fully seated and let's hear it this is smooth and I'm pretty sure there's no more wobbling 
So let's put it in the tensioner bracket and we'll feel it if it's still shaking. All right, put it back together and let's test it. This has no more play. Smooth. And that's it, let's put it back and hopefully that's fix it. Put it back how we remove it, it's the opposite way. Okay, but the only thing that could possible make it noise is this one. That's why it's better to remove the, replace the whole piece. It's this one here, there's a play here. Not supposed to have that, but we're gonna take our chances here just to save money and put it back. Okay, so I put the um, the pulley, water pump pulley here, and set, and also the belt tension here, and the belt I rerouted as well. So I'm about to put the alternator, which is here. Let's go ahead and put this in. But to make it easier, before you put this in, try to um, push this a little bit out, so it will be easier to put in. All right, so we put the alternator in. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the um, 19 millimeter wrench here to release the tension for the tensioner and we'll put the belt back to the All alternator. right, the belt is on. Make sure you double check that everything is lined up on the groove from the AC compressor, pulley, alternator pulley, and from the crankshaft and down there power steering as power steering pump as well and then now let's go ahead and put this back in from the alternator connect everything up and let's put the battery in okay so everything is together we put the belt back all the connectors are back put the battery on let's go ahead and see what it sounds like i'm gonna put the mic here i'm gonna put this mic so we can hear it better Okay. Let's see. Take it there. Alright. Okay. Alright. 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 Yeah, okay, I think our job is done. Make sure we check the rest of the bearing too that could affect everything else. But um, I'm gonna um, go ahead and replace the AC compressor with this one too. I mean, the other pulleys for that um, to make it more quieter. All right guys, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, peace.